I believe that the next six months of the stock market will be worse than the preceding six months. And with that in mind, I'm looking for a place to put my money. And so I'm looking at for some dividend stocks. I came up with about 40 good dividend stocks, but I want to be in stocks that are also going to have some growth potential. So I've been working for the last uh, several months on putting together what I believe are going to be the stocks that are going to perform best, that pay a good dividend where I can park my money and have the potential of growth once we get through this interest rate and inflation. So let me share with you the stocks I believe I want to park my money and get a dividend from anywhere from 6 to 9%. Best of Us Investors presents Kerry Griegmeier. Okay, let me explain my thinking. Uh, I'm aware of a drought in the United States and that farmers are not being able to feed their cattle, so I believe beef prices are going to go up. This weekend, I heard that there's a flu going through the chicken populations, and they're going to have to kill millions of chickens, so the price of of chickens are going to go up. So I'm seeing that everything is telling me the grocery store is going to get more and more expensive. I'm understanding that energy is probably going to get more expensive as Europe has difficulties getting gas and um, and oil from Russia, and that China's demands on oil and, and gas are going up as as I have seen that my price on uh, my electricity and my my gas for to heat has gone up. And so I'm believing that energy prices are going to go up. Now, if I'm uh, someone who is really tight on my budget, what am I going to do? I've got to heat my house. Oh, I could turn the th thermostat down. I've got to buy groceries. So I'm, what am I going to do? I'm going to cut other things back. I'm probably not going to replace my refrigerator unless I must. So I probably aren't, I'm not going to do that. I'm probably not going to buy the kids a new backpack to go back to school. I'm going to make them use the one that we bought last year. I'm probably not going to buy the underwear that I need. I'm just going to keep the ones that I got another year. So I recognize that there are some stocks that aren't going to do well. They're going to miss their earnings. I know that Amazon and Google and, and Apple are going to miss their earnings, particularly any advertising. I see it on my YouTube channel. The amount of views are going down. My supporters, my sponsors are pulling back and saying, we can't give you as much as we do, we used to. I see the amount that Google is paying paying me per click is going down because the amount of people who are bidding for uh, to appear on my video are, are going down. So I know that Google's uh, ad revenues are going to go down, which I know that Amazon's ad revenues will go down, and I know Facebook's ad re revenues are going to go down. So they're going to pull the stock market down. I believe that on Fe the first week in February, when big tech reports their earnings, they're going to be dismal, and that's going to pull the market down. So I have to say, oh, I want to get my money out, and so I'm sitting in cash. Well, if I leave it in cash in my brokerage account, I make almost nothing on it. If I take it to the bank, I just make a little bit more than nothing on it. If I put it into a T-bill, I might get 4 or 3% on it. So where do I go to to put my money where it will do well. Well, I got to invest in the stocks that Mrs. Jones, who has four kids in the back seat and is filling her gas tank up and buying groceries, is where, where those stocks are going to take me up and I'll get an in, I'll, I'll get a good dividend. I found some that'll pay six to nine percent, but I want once this market turns around, I want their prices to go up. So I not only make money on the dividend, but I make money as the as the stock market uh, improves. Are you following me? Okay. So what I did is I, as I said, I created a list of of forty, roughly forty S and P stocks that pay a dividend 
And then I looked at them and said, okay, what business are they in? How big of a dividend do they pay? And is that business going to fare better than most in these downtimes? So let me take you to the spreadsheet. It's pretty complicated, but I want you to see how I built it and how I've identified four stocks that are going to pay me between 6 to 9% in dividends while this market fi finds its way back to a a upward turn. And I'll explain to you after I do the dividends why I think it will be a skyrocketing market after we get through the downturn. Let's go to the computer and see my list. Okay, let me first explain. This is a living and breathing Excel spreadsheet. I, I have roughly 37 stocks here. And as the price of the stock change is right here, uh, it's updated as on, on about a, a 5 to 10 minute uh, basis. So as the price of Hanes uh, goes from $5.89 to $5.92, the yield on the dividend, the dividend stays the same, but the yield changes. Uh, over here, the income changes. The, 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 this is the purchase price, and I'll explain how that works and why I did that. But also, the return based on current price to purchase price changes as well. So this thing is a moving uh, target, if you will. Uh, and so what I wanted to do was I, I created the 37 stocks, and um, I, it, it, as I say, the dividend yield changes. So I have sorted them for the highest dividend yield, and that is Hanes brand products. I know Hanes because I wear Hanes underwear and Hanes socks. In fact, I just went to Target and bought my next year's supply. Uh, throw some others out. Okay, on the bottom of this is is Apple, and it's got a 0.68% or a 92% dividend against a stock price of $134.51, okay? So that's how that works, okay? Now, so if... If I were just greedy and I said, okay, I'm going to just take the top four and, or, uh, yeah, the, the top four, and that's where I'm going to uh, invest my money. Uh, as you'll see, um, the, the second one is uh, Vornado uh, Realty. But I look at this and I say, okay, how are these stocks going to perform as we continue to have a down market in 2023? Well, I think like me, unlike me, uh, Mrs. Jones, who uh, had just got out of the grocery store and filled up her gas tank, is probably going to make her kids wear last year's underwear and socks. Maybe she's going to sew the holes up in the stocks. And so I don't think Haynes's um, uh, business is going to be as good as it, as it might be. I also then went to Seeking Alpha and learned that Haynes bought Champion Brands, spent a huge amount of money at, on it, and is in a bit of an equity position uh, or a highly leveraged position. And they're they're in some financial difficulties. Uh, the, um, Varnado uh, and uh, uh, real estate, I don't want to be in real estate as interest rates are going up, as I see the prices of homes going down. So I don't think this REIT is where I want to be. Then I have Devon Energy. Again, I go to Seeking Alpha, and I learn that Devon, Devon Energy is a oil and gas exploration company in, um, in, in Texas. I like that. I believe that oil prices are going to continue to go up as the demand for oil continues to rise because of the shortage from, from Russia in both Europe and in Asia. So I like them. Here's Alta. Um, Alta is a cigarette company. And, and again, as a part of this living and breathing, uh, I'm able to pull up what they do just the, the the computer does it for me. So I like Alta. I don't like 
Newell. Newell pays a 7% dividend, but Newell makes appliances or sells appliances. They're in the household goods business. If I'm if I'm short of money and, and being taxed by the or hit hard at the grocery store and the gas pump, I'm probably not going to replace my dishwasher, okay? I'm probably not going to ch- replace my sofa. So I don't like Newell. Verizon, I have to have it. I have to have my phone, my internet, and, and my TV. The same with AT&T. So those are the kind of stocks I like. Uh, Intel is in the semiconductor business. They pay a 5.42% dividend, but at the same time, um, they're they're in they're in the building stages. They they got four years of heavy lifting to do out in Arizona to to build their new semiconductor. And then I come up with Philip Morris. Philip Morris pays a a 5.07 dividend again in the tobacco business. And I've always heard and I believe that um, if you're addicted to something, it doesn't matter if there we're in a recession or a de- depression. If you smoke, you're going to smoke. Uh, in fact, I heard on NPR that the United States has done a decent job of rec- de- decreasing the amount of smokers. It used to be, I think, uh, uh, that 10% of the people in the United States smoke cigarettes. It's now down to about 6.2%. In, in Europe, it's down to 3%, but in uh, Asia and uh, other countries, it's, uh, it's still substantial. In fact, on this NPR report, it said there are more people smoking today than there were yesterday. And that number, each day, that number keeps going up. So I look at those and say, it, they're, they're good dividend stocks. Now, the other thing I did was I said, okay, um, I bought these stocks on paper on uh, December the 1st. And as you can see, how are they doing in the past uh, 18 days. And as you can see, Haynes is down 15%. Um, uh, Vornado Energy is down 14 and Devon Energy is down 11 So what I did then was go over here and I resorted my, my stocks and, and basically said, okay, from the purchase date of uh, December the 1st to today, uh, which stocks have done the best? And the best is Broadcom. Uh, Broadcom is up since my purchase date of 12-1 uh, to uh, 12-17 or 12-16 is up 2.9%. Procter & Gamble is up 1.5, but Procter & Gamble uh, only pays a 2.43% dividend, okay? Uh, Cig- Cig- Cigna, which is a health care, is up 1.5%. Um, and it pays a 1.7. Now that new well up just barely. Um, but again, I don't want to be in the household business. And there's my um, Alta. It's up or it's down uh, just about a half a percent. So it's kind of in there, Home Depot. So you can see what I've done here is said, okay, let's look at it by um, industry. Let's look at it by uh, dividend and and return. And let's look at it, how it's performing thus far this month. Okay, I hope you followed through and understood that. So the four stocks I'm investing in to park my cash and and get a better return uh, than I can from a bank or a treasury bill or anything of that nature are uh, Devon, D-V-N, paying me 8.59% at a price of $60.08. Uh, Altera, M-O, paying me 8.08% at a price of $46.56. Verizon, um, ticker VZ, paying me 7.03 at a price of $37.12. And AT&T, ticker T, uh, paying me 6%. At a price of eighteen dollars and ninety nine forty nine cents. Now I'm going to continue to use my 
uh, interactive uh, graph or chart to, to keep me educated if other opportunities present themselves. If I see a change, and what I recognize is I'm dealing in a market right now that is subjected to change, and that change is facilitated by things like a war in uh, Ukraine, a economic war in China. We, we've got situations where our hospitals are being overrun so maybe I need to look at a, a hospital REIT. I don't know, but I will react on a daily basis, some of you call that flip-flopping, to, to enhance my potential to earn money in the stock market. That's what I enjoy doing. I enjoy the process as much as I enjoy making the money. It's what we used to call, I enjoy the hunt more than I enjoy the kill. That's just me. If this is a way that you would like to invest in the future and you'd like to put your mind with my mind, then give me some feedback on what you think of these four stocks and what, what you know about dividend stocks and what you know about the changing world that we live in. And let's work together. Let's create a community. I've already started it. It's on the Discord. I'm going to build on it by in, in over the next year in our website where I I can share with you beyond just my knowledge about investing, but all of the elements of financial planning. I'm working on that now because I have some goals, and they are to make you a better investor, to help you keep more of what you make by understanding our tax code and helping you build an estate, a, a sum of money that you will be proud as you lay down in your coffin and you will say to yourself, I left the world. I left my family better off than when I first came here. That's my goal for you. That's my goal for myself. I, I ask you to join me and let's work together to make it happen. I'll talk to you again tomorrow. Music.